Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Elliott, 1% Podcast, here today with Will with Lumio Brothers, one of the badass solar companies in the world, and they're growing really, really fast. Now today, we're not just gonna talk about solar, what we're gonna talk about is sales. And if you wanna create a great life, and you wanna make, make a bunch of money, you're gonna have to be really, really good at sales. All that any man or woman ever has asked for in their life is an opportunity, and if you're in sales, you have it. Now, Will's with me today, he's a savage. He's really good at what he does, he came up fast, he's been in sales since he's young, but lately he's decided to take his life seriously. What he's done is he's self-educated, he's great, made himself great, he's making his team great, and he's growing like a crazy weed out of control in a garden, um, just like the Elliott Group, and I love it. So we're collaborating today, we're gonna share some tips, secrets, and tactics on how you can kill it and crush it. So Will, let's kick some I'm stoked, bro, and I'm honored, and I'm grateful to be on the 1% podcast. Like, guys, you have no idea how much I'm excited right now just because I remember my first time finding Andy on YouTube, um, watch all this content, and now to be able to actually be here and collaborate with you, like, that's a big deal for me, bro. So I really appreciate you taking the time, bro. Uh, I've enjoyed hanging out with you, walking around the facility. Guys, we're the Lumi Bros, number one solar salesman in America. We're a group of success-driven individuals who compete at the very highest level. We believe it's our duty and our obligation to be successful, and also that no one will do it for us. We have to do it, right? Nobody's gonna knock the door, nobody's gonna make the phone calls, you have to put in the work. And so we've documented our journey the last 13 months, going from a brand new setter, brand new to the industry, and to becoming a regional manager with millions of views on YouTube, inspiring the community that is sales, that is solar. Um, and a lot of it is because of you, bro. If you look at a lot of my word tracks, I'm saying a lot of stuff that you're saying. So it's really cool to be able to be here. And so my first question for you, dude, um, and again, thank you so much, Mr. Elliot, is how important is has sales been to your, uh, to your life, and how has sales changed your life? Well, it's it's changed everything, and I just want to say this. If somebody's watching this right now, okay, there's there's two types of mindsets. Number one, you got a fixed mindset. Yep. Okay, this is a person that's watching this for entertainment, right? They want to get a, you know, maybe a tip, a tactic, a trick. They don't really looking to grow and change your life, okay? And then number two, there's a person that's like a sponge, okay? And they have the growth mindset. And this person is very, very dangerous. And this person can be the next person that is a billionaire. You can take over the world and nobody can stop you. As long as you'll do one thing, you'll self-educate. So how has sales changed my life? life well number one I didn't need a degree um, it didn't matter what my last name was it didn't matter if I had a wealthy family it didn't matter if I was once a loser none of that mattered what mattered is like Jim Rohn said who do I want to become it's not about who you are it's about who do you want to become so I'm gonna ask everybody who do you want to be not who are you okay don't look in the mirror and see yourself for who you are now who do you want to be and I was a loser and at 18 years old I was a loser I can tell you for a fact that anybody that was around me got no value out of me and I didn't like that I looked in the mirror didn't like who I was and I decided to make a decision which I'm gonna ask you guys to make today who do you want to be the only thing that's holding you back is you make the choice make the call get a vision board a board get a vision board write down who do you want to be what do you want to look like what kind of mindset do you want to have what kind of car do you want to have what kind of girl do you want to have okay what kind of life do you want to have what kind of home do you want to live in what do you want your ATM statement to look like okay what do you want to look like in five years from now do you want to be repped as a badass or repped as a loser okay I thought about these things and I thought dude like am I capable of having a great life and then sales which I knew nothing about was presented to me and this guy goes what if you could make five thousand dollars in a month I didn't even have five dollars I didn't have a car I didn't have anything I thought well if I could have five thousand in a month I'd be rich just shows you how small of a mindset that I had but it's one step at an hour at, at a time how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time okay you gotta make your first five grand before you can make your first 50 grand before you can make five first five, next 500 grand you gotta work your way up so if you're watching this there's tons of money you can have it all but you've got to enter the world of sales. And I don't care if you're not good at it now. What I care about is are you coachable? So that was my deal. I ask people all the time, I say, hey dude, do you want this? They say, yeah, I say, okay, are you coachable? If you're not coachable, we have nowhere to grow. We have nowhere to go. So if you have a fixed mindset, just exit the video and, and remove yourself from this video. It's no good for you. But if you're a sponge and you are coachable and you have the growth mindset, and, a one then, and you're a one percenter. And by the way, one percenters are surrounded 
surrounded by the other 99% who are sheep. A lion can walk amongst sheep and it doesn't think like a sheep. It doesn't, doesn't see things that the sheep sees. The lion is ready to hunt at all times. Most people are fishermen sitting on their hands waiting for something to bite. We are lions. We hunt. We are in the sales game. We create. That's what entrepreneurs do. They create. So when I got into sales, I um, was taught a whole different way of thinking, which you can't change until you change the way you think. So I started out with the way that I thought and I removed all the trash can, low self-limiting beliefs out of my head, and I had a great mentor. And I think this, if you want to really become great in life, I'm going to tell you this. Number one, you're going to go to a classroom. you got to get in some type of training. Number two, you got to apply the training that you learned and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it so you can become good at it. And then you want to find a mentor, somebody to emulate, not the envy. We don't want you to be us. We don't want you to be anybody else. We want you to go be you. We just want you to go get everything in your life you've ever wanted and more. That's all we want you to do. But you're going to have to find a mentor and your goal is to do exactly what that mentor is doing so you can have the life that they have and then when you become like them then you become better than them and then you're gonna go into another circle and you're gonna find a bigger mentor and you're gonna keep doing this all the days of your life until you die and guess what sells it pays you very fast that first day I walked out I was on an auto I was on a dealership a car lot right everybody could be in solar sales sell insurance medical roofs we don't really care what you sell okay the question is can you communicate can you speak do you guys understand this and I was telling him earlier you're you're a public speaker you speak for a living this mouth okay you speak with it you'll get what you want because of this mouth this mouth if you want to use your hand if you want to be passionate if you want to have energy you're going to need to do more than just speak with your mouth you're gonna to need to speak with your damn heart do you want a different life the question is I talked to a salesman I say do you want a different life he says yes I say do you want a different life he says yes and I said why can't I hear it in your voice when you talk to people that it sounds like you want a different life different life because you speak with your mouth and you've settled winners speak with their heart and you can tell when you talk to them that they care about everything that they're around they care about everybody they're talking to and they're consumed with winning they have they don't care if they're broke matter of fact winners go back to broken on E and zero every day me and my wife we go back to zero every day no matter how much money we got in the bank my wife knows the way that I work when I'm pissed off is that I'll go make as much money as I want Comfort will kill you. So in sales, your goal is to constantly stay stirred up. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Could you do that with sales? Could you fall more in love with sales every day? Yes, and if you did, I'm gonna tell you this. You will become a billionaire. Not, not a millionaire, not the M word. You'll become the B word, okay? But all you'll have to do is become a student of the game every single day until you die. And what else would you wanna give your life to? Helping people, yep. having a great state, mm -hmm. being in a great attitude, challenging yourself like men and women should do, putting pressure on you. It's good for you. Some people ain't feeling anxiety and they're like, oh, I'm dying. Some people feel anxiety and say, I'm alive. What if this person says no? I'll get them to say yes. Look, do they, do they like the product? Is the product good for them? Would it help them? Can I see ways that they can't see that it would help them? Can I communicate that to them? Listen, this is living. And I see people who aren't in sales and they've sold their souls. They've sold their lives to a salary. And their salaries get outlived by inflation. And they never retire. And they've sold their family a false dream that one day we're going to be able to go on vacation. One day, get in sales, you'll go on one in three months. Okay? Do you, when do you want it? We're in a generation right now where we're in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. Sales is offered to pay more money than it's ever wanted to pay in the world. Sales is at a greater need than it's ever been in the history of time since COVID. People had to wear a mask and stand six feet apart. Guess what? Dude, people forgot how to communicate. What do you want to do? You want to feel significant. You want to feel important. And anybody that can make you feel important, make you feel happy, make you feel significant, you're probably going to get your checkbook out. Because the way to your wallet is through your heart. And if I can communicate well through you and I can show you with your heart that I care, people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care, 
there and I can do a great job. I can explain my product right. I've been a good vehicle, right? Like like a solar company, like he works for, or automotive, or insurance, or whoever you work for. And by the way, your company is not the problem. You're the problem. Mm. Okay? And if you look at that, you're also the solution now. And you take what we're talking about and you just literally get all this damn low self limiting belief crap out of your head and reprogram yourself, which will, you have to reprogram yourself daily. Yep. And you take this little bit of information and you just saturate it, soak it up, live in it, become obsessed with it. I always say this, your obsession towards training or your lack of obsession, lack of obsession towards training is how you feel about winning. Mm -hmm. Okay? So if you don't love to self-improve, you don't want to win. And if you've read the book by Tim Grover, Relentless, it says winning won't recognize you. You will think that you're doing everything right, but winning knows your heart. Winning knows what you got. Winning watches you when no one's around and the stands are, stands are empty and you're in the dark. What you do in the dark and when you disappear and no one's around is who you become. When I see people every day who constantly become better, I know they did something that no one was doing when no one was around. I know that when they were all alone, they weren't watching Netflix. They were studying. I can hear it in their voice. I can see it in their face. How the hell do they stay so alive? It's because they're plugging into good shit when no one's around. And dude, those are the people that everybody in the world looks up to and they say, well, how, how did you do it? Well, it was really easy. Okay, if you want to get healthy, do you eat grilled chicken or cheeseburgers? Yep. You eat grilled chicken. If you want to get in shape, do you go to the gym or watch TV? You go to the gym. If you want to be a great speaker, if you want to learn how to sell, if you want to learn how to close, what are you going to do? You're going to spend time self-educating yourself. I love, when, especially when these guys are ready to go to war, right, men and women, I love telling them that, look, you're just a couple moves away from doing something really big. And once you get a taste of something really big, you're going to want to never let it go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.